He's eating something. It's a problem. It's a problem. This video is brought to you by our generous sponsors at Exoterra. Hey, this is Kale. I'm in North Carolina for Venom Week 2024, and we're out looking for cottonmouths. And I just saw my very first one, and it was just breathtaking. It was a big male. He was just swimming right by. Wow, this is so amazing. We've been trying to find venomous snakes for the last few days with no luck. I just, I've known they're, they're aquatic, but just seeing them swim by peacefully. Big, beautiful male. Coolest thing I've ever seen. Fred Boyce is an accomplished herpetologist that has agreed to take Kale and some friends to his favorite area to survey for northern cotton mats. Okay, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Fine, but if there's I'll just tell you, we are all happy to be herping. This is so exciting. We just found another uh, cotton mouth, and then we look over on the other side and we find another one. And then we looked just a little ways down and we found another one. And look at this guy right here, just right there. Oh! So now that's six cotton mouths. Okay, we just found another one. Okay. <laughs> All right, where, where is it? Okay, but that, that is number, that's number seven. There's an eighth one. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. It's another ah, big one. We just found number nine. <laughs> this is amazing. So we actually have a uh, cotton mouths at Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. I've been caring for them for like 20 years, but I've never actually seen one in the wild. The two cottonmouth species found in the genus Echestridon are Earth's only semi-aquatic vipers, spending most of their time in the water and subsisting primarily off of fish and frogs. He's eating something! Oh, he's got, he's got a bird! Oh. It's, a it's a frog, it's a frog. I see one. I spotted one! I think Kale let me find it. We found one! I've been filming you. So <laughs> <laughs> I got the moment. And we're here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, and uh, I'm getting ready to do some cleaning with some of our resident cottonmouths. So this is our biggest cottonmouth. Uh, I'm going to pull him out of the cage here and get him into this big bucket. I want you to be able to see him because he is uh, big and beautiful. You're gorgeous. Oh, he's a striker too. Wow, look at that dude. He is big. So this is a Florida cottonmouth. And uh, yeah, he's actually doing a, f a threat display right here. Oh, see his mouth? See where he gets his name? That really white mouth when he gapes or strikes. Cottonmouths are a really cool species. They're very closely related to rattlesnakes. Uh, they shake their tail like a rattlesnake, but they don't have a rattle. But when they shake that in dried leaves, it actually sounds a lot like a, a rattlesnake. Their venom uh, is very similar to rattlesnakes. In fact, the antivenoms that we use cover them both. They cover cottonmouths, and they cover rattlesnakes, and they cover copperheads. This uh, particular cottonmouth, you know, came into us from a confiscation. So when this uh, animal is swimming through water and tall grass and lots of vegetation and plants, they blend in really, really well. Uh, the first time I saw one in the, in the wild there in North Carolina it was quite shocking to me how, how easy it would be for you to, to miss it. So we actually have three cottonmouths here at the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. So we have two Florida cottonmouths like this and then we have one uh, northern uh, cottonmouth. Good boy. This is actually a northern cottonmouth. You might remember this snake is the species that Kale saw in the wild. I had never seen a cottonmouth in the wild. I've been working with them for over 20 years or you know, in captivity, but I'd never seen one in the wild. And I wanted to see one so badly when we went to North Carolina for Venom Week. Seeing one for the first time in the wild, it's just so different and unique compared to seeing uh, rattlesnakes here in the desert. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, subscribe, and hit the bell. We'll be releasing more videos like it soon.
Do you think cottonmouths are cool? Check out these other videos about vipers. Thanks to your support, we've grown to be the largest YouTube channel of any zoological facility in Arizona. Thank you.